Well, welcome to the Red Ben TV um, outside Anfield. Bitterly disappointing night as Liverpool obviously go out of the Champions League. You all know this. Um, if you're a fan of another club, that's why you're here. If you're a Liverpool fan, you might actually care about what some of us think. Um, it is what it is. Um, for me, obviously, I'm bitterly disappointed with that. I think Liverpool put in a good performance across the board, mainly. Um, look, we had 34 shots just wept that windy we had 34 shots and the difference for me was the two goalkeepers um, their goalkeeper made save after save after save big hands left right everywhere um, managing to get the ball away and unfortunately ours gives, the, ours gives the ball away to give them a first goal we are going to win the league that's what we've got isn't it uh, and it's a big thing isn't it um, but you know what I mean our black's an absolutely brilliant brilliant goalkeeper um, and that's going with it they came to do that and they did exactly that they did that that's what they were here to do I'm um, sorry that I had to concentrate we're gonna win the league 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 and I don't believe us and I don't believe us and I don't believe us better to be honest with you because we are going to win the fucking league but I'm here to talk about the Champions League and we're out of that the defending champions are out of here um, look I think let's go played really well they know we knew what they were coming to do they were coming to waste time they were coming to um, get in the referee's head and they were coming to piss us off and that's what they did ultimately didn't they I think Liverpool they created enough chances there was enough good performances there I thought Klopp got the sides right I thought playing Oxlade Chamberlain I thought he was man of the match up until the point that he goes off um, thought he did absolutely brilliantly you know setting the tempo getting the crowd into it with shots from distance and all that type of stuff some lads shout and like and subscribe get on to him he's right you know you need to do a little bit of that um, and then you know Genie gets a big head an unbelievable ball in from Oxley chamberlain I mean the way he pulls that back and, and when Aldum gets up heads it down into the ground that goes past our black and you're thinking this is our time we're going to go through again we've got to do this but for me we had to do that in 90 minutes that was the big key I think I let go and did look like they were tiring um, but they had enough in the tank you know it felt like and I know this isn't accurate it felt like they scored with the first two shots um, maybe it was the first two shots on target I'm not sure um, but you know good finishes both of them um, and then the third one Marata again you know I think maybe uh, Adrian looking at it only once with no replays I thought Adrian maybe could have come out to that and won the ball uh, maybe he's just seen Pepe Reina do that for Aston Villa and miss it at the weekend or whatever uh, and he thinks twice about it I thought, um, I thought you know Mo Salah was an interesting one for me I had a little bit of an up and down game I think I've spoken to fans before we came on here who were a bit like oh you know what Mo was crap and all that type of stuff I actually felt like he had one of his more dangerous games I mean I know his finishing wasn't there he didn't stick it in the back of the net and stuff but it felt like he was actually going past his man he was going right he was cutting inside um, and that right hand side in the first half certainly with him Ox and Sens was doing the damage and then when Ox went off I was a little bit worried about the substitution to be honest and then Milner just went over to the left hand side and the left hand side started ticking then he was playing one twos with Robertson Robertson was getting in behind Robertson was going the factor because he wasn't really committing himself going forward first half second half he did that and that left hand side you know Mane was in and out of the game a little bit Bobby's touch was a little bit off you know Mane needs to learn to keep those overhead kicks uh, down though doesn't he I mean he's, he's had enough practice there tonight that he needs to get them under the bar um, but it's a bitterly disappointing night in Liverpool I think uh, really strange for me I was watching the game in the upper Kenny uh, and there was probably 200 that let's go Madrid fans in there and I really didn't like that you know and they were up there and they were singing and there was no problems with them or anything but that's our stadium like there's 3,000 of them in there Why they got another fucking 2000 in the upper Kenny like and that's just weird for me and I, I don't know why Liverpool have done that uh, and apparently I, I was talking to someone nearby and he said that's a, all the Champions League games that happens but it's been worse this year than last it was terrible it made it really hard for us to sing up there and it's hard enough up in the upper Kenny um, so yeah I didn't really like that but it is what it is Liverpool are out uh, we've put in a good performance but not good enough unfortunately Atletico did that did what they came to do if you've enjoyed the video like the video subscribe to Redmen TV and we'll see you next time Ciao.